tribe. I'm feeling festive today. And I'm bringing back one of the readings that a lot of you have guys uh, liked. So thank F, tribe has sense of humor. By the way, this is Bruce, the palm tree, um, role playing this year, dressed as a Christmas tree. I don't think he likes it very much, but he decided to live with me. So that's where we are right now. So without further ado, um, I don't know, have a glass of wine, tea, but bring a sense of humor into this. That's what you'll need the most. It's going to be probably a sarcastic reading. I'll probably be talking nonsense. So welcome. Welcome to the read. I'm prepared. I have a smoothie. And you know why? Because I was like, shit, I'm hungry. I was like, uh, I ate a sandwich today, but I got to do this reading. So what do we do? We shake it up. It's much quicker. So I'm going to have dinner later on. And let's go. So pan number one, what are we choosing from? Pan number one. For pan number one, the option for pan one is this slipper right here. Beautiful. See? Beautiful. Character. Pan number two is going to be um, the couch behind me right here. Pan number two. And pile number three, uh, we have a remote control. So if you need to meditate on your options, and I'll see in timestamps. Hello, pile number one people, whoever has chosen, not this one, this slipper right here, beautiful option. Let's start your reading. This reminds me of, straight away, um, for some of you, you really need to let you uh, can't speak anymore. Let your hair loose a little bit. Why? Because this reminds me of a hotel slipper, and I'm thinking about all those days and nights where I've been out and about with my with my friends, coming back to a hotel, messed up hair, best time of my life, um, holiday trips, all of that stuff. So it seems like your message is saying. And I'm looking at the empty packet of chocolate right now. That's been sitting here for um, a day and I couldn't be bothered to take it to the trash bin. So it seems like for some of you, you're thinking that your fun days are over. But really, it seems like it's just going to be starting. So I don't know. I would say part number one, go out there and have some fun because it seems like you really need that right now. You really need that right now. Let's see. We're using the... Um, no, we're not using this deck. Sorry. We're using the uh, zombie deck. That's what we're going to do. Because it feels like you feel like a zombie right now. So let's go. Pile number one. Oh. Stop vibrating. And this is not what you think it is. I just finished um, smoking this heated tobacco thingy over here. And I thought it finished. But apparently it hasn't. It's vibrating. Have some fun, I told you, it's vibrating on the table. It's not supposed to be vibrating. Pile number one. Let your hair loose, man. Let's see what your cards want to say. <sighs> You're giving me anxiety, pile number one. Let, um, cheers. And I'm looking at red candles right now. So for a lot of you, it seems like there is some kind of fear that's connected to maybe uh, intimacy, all that stuff. If that's the case, or if you have problems down there, I don't know, buy a toy for yourself. That vibration, you know, threw me off a little bit here at the beginning of this reading. But it seems like what I fear. So if you look at this card over here with lover's card, I don't know how focused my camera is, but you hold in the heart and the guy is holding perfume. And it seems like some of you are not, not vibing. You're like, why are you holding that perfume? Like, what's wrong with you, man? You could be holding something else. 
some of you it feels like maybe you you haven't found a person who has the same love language i don't fucking know you're like let's connect on the emotional level and then the guy's like oh let's go and get you know drunk in a bar and you're like what the heck was that proposal about i've, I have no fucking clue we're not connecting but that seems like your past experience so it's saying don't expect the same thing all over again your cards are flipping man look what you got ten of wands you're like yeah no it's too difficult i cannot like there's mm, i've lost hope if you're in a relationship, if you're in a relationship, king of wands, I don't know, maybe you want to buy something for yourself, like, you know, I don't know what that bone reminds you of, but there is some kind of boner situation happening here. Maybe some of you want to revive, revive the boner. That's what it is. Sure, pile number one. Maybe you need to revive your own boner. I don't know. Because some of you literally feel like you're a little bit stiff. Not in the right places. Welcome to my channel if you're new to this. Yeah. Six of Cups is here. I mean... It feels like some of you guys, you're like, I don't know, dude. I'm remembering the days when I had the good times of someone from my past or someone is resurfacing from my past, but I don't know what to do with it. Maybe you had problems with, with that bone in the past and you're like i don't think this is good enough for me like i feel like i want to elevate in intimacy and that wasn't that wasn't good enough but there is something there for me so i don't fucking know what this means but number one you tell me you have the two of hazards yeah you can't make up your mind i think some of you literally need a little bit of you know roughness to your life maybe you never spoke about this maybe you're not opening up to to your partners Maybe you're like, I'm bored of this, you know, kind of, it's, it's boring. I want something else. Let's bring something, let's bring fire into this. And you don't want to speak hard because you're like, I don't know how to say that. Maybe some of you are doing it a little bit too much, like, because I'm feeling like some tribe members are pretty crazy over here. I see it in the cards. I see you. you're on the verge of exploration here okay pile number one people what do they need to know right now five of swords who's texting me why people start texting me only when i'm when i'm doing readings um they start calling me you know everyone everyone's awake at, at the moment when i'm literally working Maybe some, okay. Maybe some of you are a little bit fed up with how someone expresses their love and you're like, that's what I want. That's what I want. I don't want none of this, you know, cuteness. Like, give me something else. I split the deck, we have the magician, yeah. Know how to use your tools better. Maybe you're trying to find someone who knows how, how to use their tools better. And in this pile, it's saying that's yeah, possible. And obviously, someone is, the, is is coming your way. With the whole lab situation over here, I'd say like... Um, protection is the key. Especially if you just want to mingle. Pile number one. Yeah, you definitely need someone with a bit of a spark here. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. Let's see what's going to happen. Pile number one, what's going to happen, man? Jesus Christ. Wait, there is way too many cards over here. <laughs> I'm laughing with you. The tower is here. It's saying, bitch, watch out. Okay, let's see. What is going on right here? There's some kind of a destructive party happening or like a 
um, connection with someone. That's going to shake your ground, that's for sure. You have the Knight of Wands. Why did I say? I'm speaking as I'm pulling cards, man. There's definitely someone literally like knocking your walls down. I think you won't expect it. I think some of you might be shocked. So if you have a person in your mind who, um, who was really nice, too nice, for what you needed at that time is saying you have no effing clue because you didn't have a chance for this person to show who they truly are. You would be surprised behind the closed doors. You would be surprised. Let's split the deck. Let's see. <laughs> You'd be surprised of the hidden secrets that they hold. Some of you literally want to do something very secretive here. You're like, ah, uh, I'm into weird stuff. Can we try this? And the person is like, say no more. Say no more. Watch me. What is this card? Watch me. What do you want to watch? What are you watching once you get together? What is going on over here? What kind of stuff are you watching? I don't know, but it seems like you like it. Maybe you need to watch something at the same time. Maybe that's your your thing. This is beautifully spiritual reading, as you can tell. All about soul connections. Nothing else. Crown number one, people. What is going on? What do you need right now? What do you need right now? Ten of Cups. I told you, have that holiday. Where's my slipper? Go out there. Go out there, book a holiday for yourself. It feels like you might even meet someone who, who gives you what you want. And there's going to be a very similar boner type of situation between you two. Someone is itching. Like, someone is itching. I'm telling you. The Chariot. Book that holiday. Your cards are saying, geez, go out there and play a little bit more. Go to that hotel that gives you free, free slippers. Probably booking a nice hotel, I don't know. Do, do hotels, like cheap hotels, give you free uh, cheap slippers? I do not remember. It's been so long, I haven't been able to live my life really. So whoever is able to let me know what's going on. Can you, can you text me if you're going on holiday? I would love to go. No boner situation though, but I would just love to go somewhere. Four of Wands, yeah. See, we had a lot of fun together. Probably would smash the place. But you know, like your tower card started with smashing the place already. So it feels like it's going to be a lot of fun. Happy birthday to someone. Ace of Swords, what are you realizing here, part number one? What the heck is going on here? Knight of Swords and the, look at this priestess. Okay. You're going after some kind of hidden wisdom away here. Why is it not that skull though? Jeez. Wait, I do not understand what the heck is going on here. I've been reading tarot for so long, you see? Can you tell? The best at my craft. King of Swords is telling me that I'm that I'm quite good, so I'll I'll calm down. So you have the high priestess, you have the wheel of fortune, you have the death card, and you have the king of swords. You definitely come ac coming across someone who's much uh, more powerful than you think they are. So I'd say keep your eyes open. There is some kind of a life-changing situation here. A lot of ego deaths to be to be experienced. But um, someone thinks that someone else might be a bit of a loser. But to be honest, 
you haven't seen shite, your cards are saying. You have not seen shite. There's also some kind of competition happening behind closed doors and, and in, a, in a kinky way. So I don't know. Do you like that? What do you need to know here? What do you need to know? Some of you lack patience. You're like, I want it now. Well, first of all, you gotta book that holiday. She's in the airport. You gotta go, you gotta leave first of all, it's saying. So what are you waiting for here? With the seven of hazards, which is seven of pentacles to clarify that. It took me a minute to realize what it was in this deck because I don't read the books. I just go with it like that. A bit, uh, yeah, I know a little bit unstable I am. So, Listen, if you don't go wherever you're supposed to go here, I'm, I'm not gonna come to your house and take you. <gasps> Wait. Seven of Cups, yeah, I can't make it. I can't make a decision. Why can't you make a decision? Why can't you make a decision? Is someone disturbing you? Is someone literally like effing with your head here? Why can't you make a decision? Yeah, two of swords is here. So what is this dragging you? What is this dragging you? What's holding you back from your best life? Live your extra life, pile number one. Maybe at the end of the day, you're going to like that perfume. You're gonna be like, at first like, what, what is your kink? I don't know, I don't understand you. But once they show you what they wanna do with that, then I think you're gonna be pretty happy with that. Exciting, part number one. That was a super helpful reading, I know this. Uh, the sun card is here too, the helicopter. It seems like someone is actually like obsessed with someone here, oh my gosh. You know what this reminded me of, of this um, video by the beach, Lana Del Rey, but what she does, she, she leaves her the house, uh, goes by the beach and she shoots the uh, helicopter, so. <laughs> Are some of you fed up by someone's behavior? Like some of you, literally, that person might become a little bit obsessed with you. Maybe you are. I don't know. Maybe you sit in that hel helicopter, um, stalking and creeping around someone's social media. I don't know. Why? Deaf again. What do you want? Uh, what I'm paying attention to is the home over here with the death card. So you definitely need to change something about your environment, man. Like this is already, it's too much. I cannot take any more messages like that. Make a decision, two of one. I'm going to leave you here because you're literally like, it's the repetitive story. It's the same repetitive story here. So to sum this reading up, it's saying, hey, um, what is it that you want to explore? Um, there's again, as I said, that some type of, some type of boner situation here. Uh, something was wrong with my mouth. I don't know. Maybe that somehow ties into what you're trying to explore. Um, and some of you can't make up your mind. You're like, do I book this uh, flight? Do I go on this holiday? Do I go on this trip or not? Some of you might be held back because you know deep down it's gonna be way more than you can handle. So that's what I'm gonna leave you with. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Hello, my couch people. Let's see what is up. For you, I'm gonna use the uh, Urban Tarot, which is this deck. And I have no clue what this means. I split the deck, we have a tower. What is going on? Um, I'm just saying that because for the other pile, I had the same, the same thing from the other deck. So in this tower, if you can see, there is a person sinking. So a straightforward message, like a good tower reader I am. Maybe you need to go and sink in your couch a little bit, ground yourself, just rest a little bit. That's what your reading wants to tell you. What is flipping here? Yeah. You're like, I'm tired of this shit. Like, I do not like this job. I do not like typing. I do not like being here. If you, if my camera focused for once, which it won't, um, you can see there is a laptop screen and there's 
tarot cards over here. So you're doing something in your life that's not vibing with you and you're like, geez, I have like so many coffees today or whatever you're drinking at work. I feel like I, I, I don't like this at all. I don't like this. So I don't know why you're staying wherever you are. It's, you know, there was a saying some people like to... Um, that people get comfortable with the uh, pain that they're familiar with. So that's what kind of vibe we have for pile number two. Yeah, man. Um, we split the deck. We have the failure card. That's the way the seven of pentacles is describing this deck. So don't come after me. Come after yourself. And why are you, why are you telling people how to read their cards? Maybe you're dealing with someone like that. You're like, I'm afraid to read the cards or do something with divination or I don't know, spirituality. Because people come after me like with different opinions. Don't pay attention to that. Listen, I've been doing this for a minute. People do that all the time. You can't even post like something, I don't know, a thought of a day or whatever um, that you channel that day. And people will still come after that thought. So why are you afraid of over here? Are you afraid of other people's opinions? I don't know. Are you afraid of other people's opinions? What example should I give you? I'm not to care. What example should I give you? I don't know. Justice is here. What co what comes around goes around. So just to say, you know, like mm, the karma is biting someone in the ass for mm, their behavior. Like, let me just put it that way. And I'm being very nice. And I'm being very nice. But it also goes for people who keep doing the same shit all over again, expecting a different outcome and saying it, what goes around comes back around, we in a loop. When are we changing? You have the Knight of Cups here, which in this deck is a seducer card. Wow, what we want. And you have the High Priestess over here. So it seems like, I'd say, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out on opportunities that I didn't want to go there with pile number two but we're gonna go there so the couch for some of y'all and the vibe that I'm being given from this person is literally someone who likes to who likes to conquer someone and they probably won't call the next day but that's what vibes with you and you're like, I don't, I don't freaking want you to call me the next day. It's saying live your best life. Live your best life. Intuitively you already know what, what that's gonna, where that's gonna end up. But if that's something that you want, it's saying do whatever you want to do. Some of you may be afraid of some kind of um, relationship failings. Definitely, if you don't only want the couch, you want more. Failing, and again, the same card, the same card. Um, I don't know, like, decide what you want here. Someone is going after something that is literally not their vibe, and they're like, but I really want this. Yeah, you really want this with the two of cups here, you see? But this person really wants this. Let's play a game. Let's enjoy each other's company, which is not a bad thing. If you're in the same vibe, you can play each other and have a lot of fun. It does turn to fun at one point because you just start laughing um, from the situation, but you gotta match that energy. Whoever you're coming after over here, maybe some of you are trying to break free from that kind of a relationship situation but you keep wanting or going after something that that is um very out there we have the um, rock star card over here so maybe you you have a crush on uh, i don't know a a famous person and you're like oh i have the spiritual connection with this famous person um and I think that we are soulmates. I don't know. I don't know about that. I see that in, my, in the comment section quite often. And I don't know how people can live their lives like this. Where they just keep looking at, keep being in relationship over the screen with someone. And they don't even know about their existence. So that's, that's that. Maybe dealing with someone like this. 
maybe you are the person who is visible and someone else is in a relationship that you have with you <laughs> that you have no clue about so i don't know what are you doing you all what are you doing but there is definitely some kind of karma to this situation man what the heck is going on here what is this what is going on someone can't see through someone put themselves in this prison of thoughts and they cannot see the situation clearly they're like this is not karma this is this is going to happen i'm like i believe in this but i don't know what's gonna happen Five of Cups, which in this deck is disappointment. Someone has to open their eyes to something here. Someone really doesn't want to admit what's been shown from the guides, the God spirit, however the heck you want to call it up there. The higher forces itself. Someone's like, mm -mm. I don't see whatever I don't want to see. I don't hear whatever I don't want to hear. So someone is definitely getting a wake up call over here. A wake up call, man. I don't know, maybe you're dealing with someone like that. I don't know. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. Someone is imprisoned in themselves. We have the Knight of Swords, which is the game master in this deck. Someone is playing games here. But someone else doesn't want to see it. They're like, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Maybe you're playing games with yourself and you're like, I'm fine. I'm, I'm in a situation that literally doesn't serve me, but I'm fine. I'm living my life not <laughs> not so what is the advice for pile number two what is the advice six of swords move on give your heart what it is that it wants you're responsible of your own heart give that heart something that it needs heal it the snake for me every time i see it it's, it's all to do with the healing what do you want what you really really want pile number two you have the Ace of Discs. It seems like for some of you, that's how I'm going to read this card. So don't come up to me because I don't really care. But the Ace of Pentacles in this deck, it's saying become the best version of self. Who is it that you look up to? Who is the, the big thing for you? This big person, someone who's inspiring. It's saying become this person yourself. You can, but I think some of you don't see it. You can. We have the Empress here. Feed your own inner child. Why are you feeding someone else's child here? I don't know. I don't know. I'm speaking as I'm pulling cards. Feed it. I need to calm down in this reading. Let me have a sip of smoothie. Getting me out of my nerves. Gonna, I'm going to feed my heart. That's for sure. Mm. Cheers to you all. Listen. There is like so much that you um, that you allow yourself. You open doors to so many things that make you feel imprisoned. So give yourself a good kick in the ass here. Or someone else. I don't know. And let's keep going. Yeah, okay, so, okay, we're gonna pull from the Black Mirror deck because that's what needs to be done here. But I don't have a book with me. What, what I'm gonna do? I'll interpret it. File number two. What is going on? Why are you sacrificing yourself for shit that doesn't need... No. No. This card talks about sac feeling like you gotta sacrifice yourself in this for people or situations that it's saying that's not true. This is, we're showing you a karmic pattern. You don't wanna hear, you don't wanna see. So we just keep on going in the same fucking cycle. I don't even know which deck to use anymore. Advice, give me advice. This is the uh, mystical healing reading cards. See, I remember because usually I don't. File number two, what is going on here? Show self-respect, yes. Show fucking self-respect. Listen, if you are my friend, I, w I won't say what I would do. But you kind of are, you're watching this video. File number two, 
What is the advice? Why is your reading so it's very serious? This reading wasn't supposed to be very serious. It was supposed to be sarcastic and funny, but here we are. No, yeah, of course. Nine of Swords is here again, but from a different deck. Time to reprogram yourself. It's time to reprogram yourself. Nine of Wands, it feels like everything has to be a hassle for you, but that's because you think it does. Not everything has to be a hassle for you. Things can be easy, but that, that kind of a fucking bug in the brain that's what needs to go that's what needs to go what is this bug about no we're not allowing anyone to step on ya that's what we need to start doing right now Someone doesn't see themselves from the best light and they allow everything just to kind of happen. So it's good, to, it's good to let go of that wheel, surrender and go with the flow. But there is a time where you got to have to just fucking grab that wheel and say, I'm in control now. That's not going to happen because I see those disrespect. So we have a chance to start over with the Ace of Wands. We have a chance to start over. See, right here, leaves are growing out of this head, this skull. Before, that head was trapped. And I'm having a headache right now, I'm not even kidding. And it's not because I put my hair in a bun. Sometimes it happens. But it's because of this. What do we need to stop doing here? Knight of Cups. Are you showing up to someone's life more than you're showing up in your life? Are you just going around and giving your love, like literally giving your love? Listen, I'm, I have a cup of coffee. It's been sitting here for like three hours and it's very cold. If someone was around me in this living room and they tried to take this uh, cold coffee that I'm still sipping on, and wash my cup, I wouldn't allow them to do so because I'm still on it. Like, ask me before. See what I mean? Like, ask what I want, what I really, really want. Don't give that cup if you haven't finished drinking from it. Have your boundaries in place. Because it seems like you deserve... You deserve a celebration. I don't know what this means. You deserve a celebration. You do deserve a celebration. Ace of Pentacles and a st stability, stable proposals. But this is not about pointing th fingers. See, the cup situation. If the person tried to take that cup, this is a big deal, obviously, right? Try to take that cup and go wash it without asking me. It's not them who is the problem. I had to speak up and say, hey, I'm not finished. Or hey, in case you'll want to, if I'll go to the toilet, do not touch my cuppa, okay? So communication is a problem over here, that's for sure, the devil. Or attachment. Attachment, it's, it's a very unstable vibe over here. I cannot even cope with this. Um, but it's going to be stabilized, thank you. The temperance is here because there was some sort of attachment here. And as I said, I, I split the deck again and again. The devil is here, literally like in my face. That needs to be broken. Who is making you feel like you're sacrificing your shit? Or what situation? How long are you going to stay in there? Like, I, I've lost my fucking cross. That's what I did. See what I mean? Lose it. Lose the burden. That was waiting. My, maybe that's why I had a headache. I don't usually wear that stuff. See what I mean? What is the burden that you gotta lose? Jesus. 
you climbing towards stability and success. But before that, make sure this is sorted with self-respect. I love you and I'll leave you. Sayonara. I'll see you next time. Hey, pal, three people, listen. I had to compose myself after the last uh, pile. So I'm gonna have a sip of a drink and let's go. Sorry, it's gonna happen. Here we go. Here, here we go. Wow. Pile number two. I don't know what you're watching if you if you pick this uh, remote control since uh, my mouth's already uh, spilling some kind of tea over here. Wow, the first card we got. <laughs> okay, we're using the, um, what is this called? The Haunted House Tarot. We're using the Haunted House Tarot, the first card we have. Oh shit, I didn't even think about it. I was looking at the roses. Look what she's doing. What I just did, I can't speak. What did I just do right now? Finger licking goodness. Where are we going with this? What? Final number three. Do you want to explore something you haven't explored here? Change the channel, for example. Change it up. I don't know. Are you afraid to explore something that you want to explore? You're like, I can't touch those pentacles because I feel like I'm going to hurt myself. Pile number three. Someone's got a crush on you, man. This is interesting. I love this pile already. Okay, T, T, someone, someone's dreaming of you. I don't know, maybe those dreams are not the, uh, you know, nicest dreams they have, but they're definitely dreaming of you. Are you dreaming of someone? Listen, if they threaten you in dreams, um, I can come after them if you want. I'm joking. Okay. Someone is a little bit obsessed here. I don't know. But this is a very unique situation because it seems like it could be. <laughs> someone has a crush that you would not ever expect. Like someone likes you. I'm not going to say a crush. Someone likes you. But they don't understand why the fuck. Like they try to make sense of it on a higher like levels why do i feel so attracted to this person or why this person makes me feel this way sometimes because i'm gonna give you an example this would be someone who um okay simple so say i'm straight right and i have a crush on my girlfriend that would be out of the blue right like that in my situation. So that's what I'm trying to explain. That whoever likes you, it feels like this is weird for them. Because that's not something that they ever, ever felt. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't have to be that dramatic, right? Like I suddenly... Um, I suddenly feel attracted to, um, it is more than attracted to a female. It's like the personality thing that draws me in, you know? It's not very sexual, to be honest. It's the personality, like, um, it just can be that someone likes you who you would least expect to like you. I don't know how close you are with this person, but I'm intrigued, man. But someone is that someone is close off. Someone's like, nah, nah, this is not happening. No, I don't see it. I don't want to hear about it. But like, it's happened. I think you might hear from this person soon enough. <laughs> Those ones are flying your way, man. So I don't know. Are you gonna take them? Are you gonna take that wand? 
I don't know. Someone, someone's losing sleep, okay? Someone is losing sleep. Whatever the situation is, someone is losing sleep. Someone feels like there is a lot on their chest that they would want to talk about. And you, you like, don't, don't fucking chain me with your problems. Pile <laughs> uh, uh, number three. You're like, don't give me this caca energy. Yeah, split the deck. We have the four of four of cups. I'm not taking this. Like, back off. I'm not taking this. I don't know. Was there any tea like with this person in the past? I don't know. You're like, I'm I'm mingling. Like, leave me alone. I'm good. I got everything that I need. Like, take your wands back. <laughs> don't stick, don't stick your wands in my side of the garden. I'm sorry. Like, this is literally the situation, ship. It is. It, the guys nearly slapped me in the face with it. Okay, wait. With it. <laughs> with the with the wand. Uh, you have the uh, strength card over here. Oh my god, these readings are so nice and I love them for that. You have the nine of pentacles coming out again. Like someone is so strong and someone is so like in their power and the other person is like, that's what I like about you. Maybe the the they say something sometimes that's out of the blue and you're like, what the fuck does that mean? Like, why did you just say that? That's weird. And um, that that's what it means. I mean, I'm sorry. Like someone's definitely trying to tie you down somehow. Um... Yeah, and I just got a notification pop up. Someone either wants, <laughs> yeah, someone either wants to put a um, a ring on your finger, um, but it feels like whoever you're dealing with, this is a, a little bit of immature person, or maybe you are. I don't know. Like it could be always vice versa. Someone's trying to put a finger on someone. Could it be romantic, platonic? Doesn't matter. Some people are very like uh, possessive as friends, like <laughs> just like as if being married with them. I've seen it happen. I was like, how can people deal with that? Listen, like, no, that's a no, no, man. Um, <laughs> and uh, yes, 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 from number three. I don't know. I hope people who need to hear this find this reading and and this is literally like wow wow I said wow and we have a tower and she's like fuck wow like <laughs> okay okay what else like I'm a little bit shook over here um, like someone wants to reel you in, like someone's like, come, I have this amazing thing I want to show you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a bit of a story time. I shouldn't, I so should not do this, but this is what kind of scenario this reminds me of. So cheers to you. <laughs> Listen, the person is awesome. Don't get me wrong. But there is um, there is this one person who is quite big with what they do creatively, and this reminds me of that situation. Uh, and, and they were like, "Listen, uh, maybe you wanna come over? You know, I'm going to show you my craft." And I was like. Yeah, come over to you. What, what else are you going to show me? What else are you going to show me, you know? Um, I mean, maybe it would have been good, but I wasn't I wasn't um, in that mindset at that time. I had a lot of stuff going on. I was like, no, I cannot handle this. <laughs> this is too much. I cannot. So I was like, yeah, maybe one day. One day. But there is definitely some kind of energy here that you're trying to say no to. Because you feel like it might somehow tie you, okay? You're like, shush, <laughs> leave, 
leave. I don't want this. I don't want this. I know this, you know, with the devil card, it doesn't necessarily have to be that this person has bad intention. Maybe you know yourself that this is going to be something that absolutely your brain and you're going to be like, oh, now I'm going like over the same thing in my head. It's going to be a little bit too much. I'd say just have a good judgment, pile number three. What you want to do, because you have free will and you can do whatever the fuck you want, right? I feel like I don't remind people of that enough, so you're welcome. Okay. I told you, look at these cards. So the first card that we have is the, um, I think it's the page of an or a night. I'm not fucking sure. I'm not sure at all. My head's all over the place in this reading. Come over. That's the magician. Come over. I'll show you some tricks. Maybe they, okay. How good are your tricks? How good are your tricks? I want to see what they have. I want to see if it's worth it over here, tribe. Let's see. And let's switch to the Urban Tarot. Let's switch to the Urban Tarot. What kind of tricks do you have? Like, would I enjoy this? Would Tribe? I'm joking. <laughs> would Tribe enjoy this? I know I would, probably. Okay, let's get back to you. I don't know what we're talking about, but it's saying there would be some kind of completion. Um... You know, you know. Someone would get dirty over here. So I don't know what that means. This situation, it seems like it would teach someone something. That's for sure. Would teach someone something. It's funny because part number three chose the remote control. And what we have is this. The filmmaker guy. What are you doing? Can you spill the tea? I don't know, maybe this person wants to do something. I don't know, maybe it's a simple situation where someone wants to teach you how to shoot, not like videography or anything to do with arts and crafts over here. But it does seem a little bit kinky, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, because it feels like... Um, some of you would get stressed over the situation. I just want to say pile number three, if you're one of, the, one of these um, people who are, which I don't think you are, but you know, sometimes you might come across a person who um, just brings that out of you. If you are wanting to send some kind of a picture or image or whatever over the internet to someone that you don't really know, I would be quite cautious about that. Especially if you had uh, one too many. It's saying just um, be careful what you say because there might be a regret. Because um, I see some of that info is being leaked. Okay? So don't send any nudes to people you don't know. I mean, or do. Not to you. If you're trying to be, you know, visible, maybe that's your breakthrough. Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Kim Kardashian, I don't know. There's a reason for everything. So listen to your gut. Let's see. Queen of Cups. I said listen to your gut. And Queen of Cups knows what to do. That's for sure. So you probably don't really need this reading. But you're just here for fun. I hope so. No. Some of you are like, yeah, I do. I do. With the hero. I'll find here. Okay. What else can I tell pile number three? Like, this is, this is a very interesting scenario. What is going on? There is something that you don't see. Like, there is something that you don't see. What don't you see in this situation? What don't you see in this situation? There is something to do with money here or with, with um, gaining something. Are you trying to gain something here or is someone else trying to gain something here? What did I say? See? I don't know. Camera doesn't focus. Don't ask me. Um, but look, like... If this guy's polishing his shoes and then the, you know, like he gets paid and stuff. <sighs> so 
So are you, are you trying to sign, like, are you signing a contract that's going to tie you more than you want to be tied? Now, and I'm not talking about kinky stuff anymore, okay? Yeah, I told you, this is a hacker card in this deck. Be careful what you put out there. Do you need to change your password? I don't know. Is your password your, your name and your birthday? I don't know, like it could be, <laughs> it could be, it's saying change your password, someone's on to your business, I don't think this is a personal attack though, but, and it's not, this is not the message just for everyone, if you felt, if you felt this and you're like, I feel like I want to change my password, I don't know why, that's probably a good idea, pile number threes, that's probably a good idea, or be a little bit more, um, Mysterious in the workplace. Someone is talking too much. Do you want to know? Do you want everyone to know about your business? I don't think so. Unless you want to be on the news. The Kim, Kim Kardashian story. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, maybe you're seeking for wealth and you're like, let, let me hack bastards. Like, let me let me use something here that's gonna get me places pretty pretty quickly and you might do something or maybe someone else is doing that i don't know this is a lot um and someone does something for their own gain which is like a a hack like not everyone would go about the situation in the same manner but there is definitely some kind of visibility here what is your advice pal three take care of your heart i don't know what that means to you um take care of your heart what is your what is your advice do things from the heart maybe that's what it is and that's how you get to where you want to be with your spotlight so if you're trying or if someone is trying to get um, shortcuts, it doesn't seem like it's working here. No shortcuts. Yeah, heart space again. Like give your heart what it wants and that's when you move forward with the six of um, swords. The devil is here. Okay. So, I don't know. What is this? What is this? This is getting on my nerves now. What does he want? What do you want? Okay. Better decisions to make better decisions. Someone might be also pushing their views onto someone else and expecting um, people to react well, but they don't because when you push it onto someone else, they literally go like, no, no, that's what I said. And then you go, that's what I said and I believe in. And then the, that's where you get that devil energy from. Like someone is just trying to push something onto someone else here. There was some kind of power dynamic issue over here. That's what it is. And there is also that fun um, scenario where someone is saying, don't get scammed, pile number three, okay? Someone is saying, oh, like, I'm gonna offer you this or check this out. And you're like, I don't know about that. Like my, my gut is telling me and maybe I shouldn't or maybe I shouldn't do that. But it's tempting. It's tempting. I'm hearing, let me play the player. What is going on, part three? Let me play the player and then I can chill. This is T, part number three. I thought I'm going to... This reading is so different like from the from the other one. In this reading it feels like I'm more so It's like calling someone out. 
But whoever I'm calling out, they don't really give a flying F. <laughs> they don't. They really don't. Should you care? I don't know. Should you? Let's see. Should you care? You sh okay, you asked her one question, know how it goes, and it answers differently. You should care for your own happiness. That's what you should care about. Your own uh, wishes. So what are your wishes? The sun card? Yeah, your own happiness. The only thing you should care is for your own happiness. I love you and I'll leave you. Listen, like this is a this is an interesting one. I really need to smoke right now because it got on my nerves. I was like, what is this? Do you know what this is? Can you tell me? I give you a bit of a story time. Uh, hope that that made sense. Um, nothing against the person. They pretty hot, like they awesome, talented and stuff. Like I wasn't in that place where I wanted to pursue that. But maybe today I would. Who knows? So maybe some of you, you're trying to have fun, but you're like, I don't know. Maybe I'm not in the right mindset to have fun right now. The, the kind of fun or the kind of things that I want to I, I wanna do. So <sighs> cheers to y'all. I'm going to see you in the next one. And bye.